Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you a price prediction update on VeChain whose current price stands at the 0.02238 dollar mark and here on trading view the market is down by 1.02% and in this video I want to give you the key scenarios that I expect to play out basing my analysis on the ADO waves and the Fibonacci and also the key areas of support and resistances so if you're interested in such content make sure that you stick around to the end of the video and I'll kickstart the video by giving a brief of what has been happening on this chart. VeChain from the all time high has been seeing no prices in this massive ABC correction which has now taken us back to around the $0.02 mark. Getting into further analysis, starting my analysis here on the daily chart you can see we managed to break above key areas of resistances over here but at the, at the key area of resistance at around the 0.03362 dollar mark we got rejected and we are seeing a massive pull back to the lower side jumping to the 4 hour chart for further analysis here on the 4 hour chart in my previous videos I was terming this movement right here to the upside as an ADO wave structure having this as the wave 1, wave 2, wave 3 then I expected a wave 4 and then a wave 5 to complete a higher ADO to wave count 1 but that movement got invalidated the moment our wave 4 over here retraced into the high of that first wave and having done so I had to remove the ADO to wave structure and look at this movement to the upside as something else and the only way we can view that movement to the upside as it's just a massive ABC corrective movement that was correcting that impulsive movement that gave us a low at around the $0.02 dollar mark. After making the high for that massive, that is this ABC corrective movement over here, whatever I expect on this other side is the formation of a 5 wave structure to the lower side and we had seen the formation of a first wave to the ups to the lower side, having that as the wave 1, wave 2, wave 3, wave, then a wave 5 to complete a higher ADO to wave count 1 and then after making that low down here I expected a bit of a bounce to the upside in the formation of our wave 2 and because our wave 2 is a corrective wave I also expected to see an, a, a corrective wave over here having a wave A, wave B then a wave C to the upside and the minimum target area for that second wave to the upside was between the FIB level 0.618 and the FIB level 0.382 that is the area right here but you can see from the structures that we have over here that is not playing out at the moment and because of that we need to have a look at what is going to play out here on the VeChain chart in the short term and within this movement right here you can see we had been trading within this channel and yesterday we formed a triangle right here and we managed to break out of that triangle right here to the upside then went to the upper side of the channel right here then saw a bit of a pull back to the lower side of the channel we managed to break out of that channel to the lower side and here on the 4 hour chart you can see we are seeing a retest of the lower side of the channel and jumping to the 1 hour chart so that we can see this better also within this movement right here we also had the formation of a head and shoulders pattern having this as the left shoulder of that head and shoulders pattern then the head the neckline then this movement right here was what was going to form the right shoulder of that head and shoulders pattern but you can see we invalidated that movement uh, because we saw a breakout out of the channel to the lower side so we need to remove that structure here on the charts and after seeing the retest over here it's possible that maybe V chain is going to unlock lower prices and that is dependent on how the market reacts to the Fed's speech that is today. Today in later hours we are going to have uh, the Fed's chairman speak. In case the speech that you'll be given has a negative impact to the market and there is a bit of a volatility on the market, this retest that we are seeing over here might be a successful retest. Then we might continue pushing lower and that would mean lower prices could be coming our way and we might get back to around the $0.02 dollar mark and in case that plays out that will be completing the formation of a head and shoulders pattern from a wider view here on the charts having this as the left shoulder of that head and shoulders pattern then we have the head the neckline down here then the right shoulder and this will be the breakout so in case there is a 
the speech has a negative impact on the market and we continue seeing lower prices then we might see a breakout out of this head and shoulders pattern because this is a chart pattern that normally breaks to the lower side having the target area of that breakout as the height between the head and the, and the neckline we can get that height and place it down here and that gives me a minimum target area to around the 0.01 dollar mark so in case we see that breakout over here we might get back to around the 0.1 dollar mark we can also get to this key area of support down here and find a reversal to the upside so let's be patient and see how that plays out it's also possible that in case the speech has a positive impact here on the market and the volatility makes the market to pump we can invalidate this retest over here and continue pushing higher get back into the channel that we have been trading within and continue pushing to the upper side of the channel maybe manage to break out of that channel to the upside also manage to break above the key area of resistance at around the 0.024 dollar mark and continue pushing higher so let's be patient and see which movement here on the v chain chart will play out and i'll keep you updated also taking a look at the indicators here on the 4 hour rsi we are trading at around the 42 mark and that means we have massive room for us to support any movement to the upside we also have a bit of room for us to support any movement to the lower side in, in case there's a volatility that will make the market dump also taking a look at the macd here on the macd we have not yet printed a bullish cross and we are losing the selling volume so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll keep you updated